so we, so here we are on on a, on a game day, and uh, I think we I I'm gonna throw it out there. It looks like to me, Sam Honzik has made the hockey club. I think he is. I think he's going to make, and I think everybody. He's going to start here. Yeah, he's going to start. I don't know if he's an extra skater opening night or, but, but he is going not. to be. Play him. You know what he'll be doing? Drawing a full NHL wage a next salary. Wednesday. Yes, that's right. Good for him. I'm I, uh, from the conversation we had after your Penticton trip to yeah. now. It's quite a change. It has, and it, I don't think it was three idiots seeing something that wasn't true you know what i mean i don't yeah. we were not making up a bunch of bs he wasn't noticeable enough and now you've noticed him every game yeah somebody uh, from downtown so he's been one of our best players is that right because you had said yesterday is he one of the best players or is he on the score sheet because there can be a difference sometimes He's been playing with the, with the Doesn't matter. high end play, players. If you play in the NHL, you play with NHL talent. And what have you said? Sometimes that's easier. It is easier. It, it, it's way easier. You put a pass in their feet. Guess what they're doing? You see, some guys picking it up. I remember, and it's not like he had terrible points, but the first time I remember seeing it was Ryan Smith went from Moose Jaw to the Oilers, oh. and it was phew, yeah. This guy looks right at home. What's the story? Well, he's playing. With a high caliber of player, the passes are on the tape. The guys know where to be. So it would maybe this is the he kind of talked about that too. Part of it was hadn't played for three months, went to Pintick and started playing games, had to play himself yeah. into shape a little bit. So, but you get into the NHL or at least with NHL rosters, even though it's preseason, so it's higher in caliber guys and this and that. It's a bit of a shot against his old teammates in Pintick in there, I guess, because they're. They scrubs but even there he was starting to pick it up a little bit so it's a great it's awesome for him and i know that obviously everyone over on saddle dome way or whatever it is they're very happy very happy they are very happy well because and they should be i don't know that if he was an off the board pick but it wasn't a consensus pick i don't believe and regardless you had a mid first round pick they need to turn out if your approach to getting better is yeah. we're going to maximize our assets and make good on draft picks and build from within, well, you miss on first rounders. Yeah, that's that's really extending the uh, horizon event, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm not sure what you're saying. Um, what it does then then it will advance the conversation. Okay, you're here. Now what are you? Your first round pick? Yeah. Are you a second line or are you first line or are you, what? What are you going to be? But it does feel, and it, it's the level of concern that there was for sure that this is awfully quick for things to look like they've maybe gone south for a prospect. So good on him for shutting up all the critics to this point. And it's not confirmed, but players have been put on waivers and all of that, and it looks like they're going to get down to it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long-form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.